Good evening. Here is the world news from BGI TV Baba Bagede Imo TV. I am Morire Rebila Lawal. First are the major headlines for the world news. Nolge. Members protest in Oyo, demand LG autonomy. Yogotai Oshun Amotekun tells residents to be security conscious. Killers of US based Otelia. Lagos Ibado Highway kidnappers arrested. Gunmen kidnap Catholic priests in Benue days to Christmas. Bandits kill Chinese contractor in Zamfara. And to the next headlines, eight docked for allegedly quoting dead man's path in Ibado. Foreign two Nigerian soldiers killed in Mali, UN claims. Finally, on sports. League 2, Maja thankful after receiving Player of the Month award. Now, the news in detail. Members of the National Union of Local Government Employees, Noge, in Oyo State, have called on stakeholders in the state to support local government autonomy. The local government workers made this disclosure during a protest to demand the local government autonomy in the battle on Thursday. Then it was gathered that the call for local government autonomy has been on for several years and has been in the charter of the man presented to the Speaker of the House of Assembly, Adebo Ogundoi. Some of the demands include financial, administrative and political autonomy for the local government. The union noted that this would create unhindered access to local government funds to develop the grassroots. Norge President in the state, Ayobami Adeogun, who spoke on behalf of his colleagues, berated some governors over what he described as an suppression of power. He maintained that the Nigerian constitution guarantees the existence of three tiers of government and that Oyo State ought to support local government autonomy. He added that local government, being one of the tiers, should not be made an appendage of the state under the guise of any joint allocation account. Adeogun also advised the members of the State House of Assembly to support this vision. Moving on to the next story from the World News this Hour. The Osho State Commander of the Western Security Network, also known as Amotekun Corps, Brigadier General Bashir Adenwibi, retired as advised resident of the state to take charge of the security of the environment during the Yuletide. This advice was contained in a statement signed yesterday in Oshobo by the personal assistant to the commander, Isaac Oluwashegun, and made available to journalists in Oshobo, Osho State Capital. And then we be also advised residents to assist security agencies with reasonable intelligence information to tackle any potential security threats in the state. He also enjoined them to celebrate the festival moderately, avoid using fireworks and report suspicious movement and security threat to the nearest security outfits. According to him, citizens should take security seriously this festive period. Security is everyone's business. People should avoid late night driving and take cognizance of their respective environment. Overzealous youth should be cautioned by traditional rulers in the community to foster our protection of everyone. Meanwhile, the state police command at Elia banned street carnivals across the state to prevent miscreants from hijacking the carnivals to perpetrate their evil acts. Moving on to the next story. The Oyo State Police Command on Thursday paraded 13 suspects, including three men allegedly responsible for the killing of a United States based Otelia, Benga Owulabi, and a final year student of the Ladoki Akintola University of Technology, Ogomosho, Rachel Obadele, the Commissioner of Police, Adewale Williams, who paraded them at the command headquarters in LLA Ibadan, said the suspect also included killers of a police inspector and kidnappers of a former deputy vice chancellor of University of Ibadan, Professor Adigun Agbaje, on the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. The state police public relations officer, Adewale Oshifeso, said the suspects were picked up at different locations in Oyo and Kwara states. He said Nemesis caught up with the suspected killers of the late Otelia while trying to collect a money of 10.7 million naira from the family of another victim, Waid Ahmed. The members of this dreaded kidnapping syndicate, who were reportedly armed with AK-47 rifles, cutlasses, and some other weapons, attacked the said Wahid Ahmed 
and later whisked him away into a thick forest where they contacted his relative and demanded 100 million naira before he would be released. Simple to this directive, operatives attached to the monitoring unit swung into action and in the process of combing the thick forest alongside local hunters and vigilantes, they stumbled upon where the victim was held captive and rescued him on off. The victim, during the brief narrated his ordeal in the hands of his abductors and explained that while the kidnappers were negotiating for his release, they claimed the responsibility for the death of an Obomosho Otelia Benga Olabi now deceased and that he, the abductee, would suffer a similar fate should the money requested process get thwarted by the police. Moving on to the next story. A Catholic priest, Reverend Father Mark Ojotu, chaplain of St. Mary's Hospital, Okboga, in Okoku, local government area of Benue State, has been kidnapped by unknown government. Information learned that the incident, which happened on Thursday, barely four days before Christmas, had plunged residents of the community into panic. A statement issued by the Dowsons Chancellor, Reverend Father Joseph Aboyi Itodo, said the Bishop of Otupo Catholic Dowsons, His Excellency, Most Reverend Father Michael Akpochi, has called on Christian faithful across the country to pray for the quick and safe release of the priests. Correspondents report that there have been a series of kidnapping incidents in the Benue South Senatorial District since the beginning of the year. It can be recalled that the late Vicar General of the Catholic Diocese of Otopo, late Reverend Father John Adei, was kidnapped from the same parish in Opoga in 2016 by assailants who later killed him. Father Adei's decomposing body was discovered behind the office complex of Obadimo Local Government Education Authority in Otuba, his hometown, in June 2016 by security personnel combing the area. To the next story from the north. A male Chinese national was shot to death by a gunman in Manadun Local Government area of the state. Police authorities confirmed on Thursday. Police spokesman in Zamfara, Mohammed Shehu, in a statement, he injured in Gusau a large number of bandits ambushed a Hilux vehicle conveying two Chinese nationals with their police personnel escort. They were on their way to Maranun local government area of the state to access some government projects. As a result of the unfortunate ambush, the victims sustained various degrees of gunshot wounds and were rushed to the Federal Medical Center, Gusau, for treatment. One of the victims, named Fan Yu, a male Chinese national, was later confirmed dead by the doctors. While the other victim is responding to treatment, Mr. Sheo said. According to him, the police operatives who responded to the district's call regarding the ambush neutralized 11 bandits while others fled with possible gunshot wounds. Two AK-47 rifles, cutlasses, belonging to the terrorists were recovered by the police tactical operatives in conjunction with members of the vigilante group, he added. Mr. Sheo said the command deployed additional operatives to the area to complement the ongoing operations by the joint security operatives to restore normalcy and apprehend the fleeing assailant. You are watching the world news from BGI TV. More to come from Oyo State, Ibadan. Eight men, Wa'i Tijani 50, Taiwo Junusa 38, Afiz Ario 43, Kazim Tajumaje 47, Abdurashid Tanimola 55, Murtala Keulere 65, Dauda Aziz 52, and Abdul Akim Oriola 51 were on Friday docked in an Iyagoku Magistrate Court, Ibadan. The defendant, whose residential addresses were not provided, were docked for allegedly caught in a dead man's body part. They were also charged with conspiracy and disregard for the, for the corpse. The prosecutor, Mr. Philip Amusron, told the court that the defendant allegedly committed the offence on December 13th in the Bedou area of Ibadan, the Oyo State capital. He alleged that the defendant improperly interfered with the corpse of one late Nimota Lai Amidu by cutting off the hand and body part. Amustron said the offence contravenes section 517 and 242 bracket 1 of the criminal laws of Oyo State 20, 2000. The defendant, however, pleaded not guilty to the charge. The magistrate, Mrs. O. A. Akode, granted them bail in the sum of 50,000 naira each and one shorty each in like sum. She adjourned the case until February 22, 2023 for a further hearing. Going on to the foreign story within Africa. 
Two UN Nigerian fallen peacekeepers killed in Mali will be transported to their country after a memorial service by the UN Multidimensional Integration Stabilizations Mission in Mali. Mr. Benjamin Olafaju, head of Chancery at the Nigeria Permanent Mission to the UN, told the news agency of Nigeria in New York that their bodies will be transported to Nigeria after the ceremony. The memorial will be held at Parade Ground, Minum Sir, headquarters Bamako, at 10 a.m. on Friday, which has happened today. Going to the last story on sports. Nigeria forward Josh Maja cannot hide his excitement after he was presented with a French League 2 award for the month of October. Maja received the award from League 2 president Fabian Savajon at Grandis Barrocks training ground. The 24-year-old beat Laevis Gauthier Lewis and Julian McGiotti of State Levelist to the individual award. The striker scored two goals in four appearances for Les Grandis in October. The former Sunderland player is the first Grandis Bodo player to win the award since Yuan Gakov in April 2009. First of all, thank you all for your support. Thank you to the coaches. Thank you for all the involvement you put in the training and during matches, Maja told the club's official website. We still have work. It's still only a small part of the job done, but we know we want at the end of the season to be ceremonial. So thank you very much for this trophy, he concluded. That's ends the world news from BGI TV this hour. Before we go, a quick recap of some major headlines. Norga members protest in Oyo, demand LG autonomy. Oshun Amotekun tells residents to be security conscious during Unitai. Killers of US-based Otelia, Lagos Ibadan Highway kidnappers arrested. We also brought to you government kidnapped Catholic priest in Benue, days to Christmas. And finally on sport, Maja thankful after receiving Player of the Month award for the month of October. For more updates on YouTube, our handle is Babagede Imo TV. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell. Select option all to access our broadcast. On Facebook, Bagede Imo with Alawiye Adebayo. Please like and follow the page. On Instagram, Bagede Imo underscore 22. For other placement of goods and services, coverage of events and functions, please dial the phone number streaming on your screen for advert placements only. Thank you for watching. I am Maureen Rebila Lawa. Good evening.